I'm attorney Nick Alcock from Phoenix, Arizona. The other day I posted a blog about Troy Davis and his uh, impending execution, and he has been executed. The United States Supreme Court denied uh, any last minute stay or appeal, and I did a little bit of research as to exactly what the Supreme Court was thinking and what they were looking at. What it seemed was is that all the justices agreed that a stay was not appropriate. And given the fact that there's so much doubt about Mr. Davis's innocence and, and whether or not he actually committed the crime of murder, it just seems uh, astonishing that the Supreme Court basically indicated that their job is not to look into whether or not someone is actually innocent. Their job was just to determine at how many different levels of appeal should a person be given. And Justice uh, Scalia at some point uh, indicated that uh, there's nothing in the Constitution, he said, I'm going to paraphrase, there's nothing in the Constitution that, per, that requires that the Supreme Court prevent the execution of an innocent man. And, you know, again, I know I went to law school, I understand where they're coming from, I understand what the Supreme Court is all about, but the mere fact that we live in a country where the, the law of the land is that the Supreme Court basically doesn't weigh in on innocence and, and they would essentially permit the execution of an innocent man, that, uh, that's pretty striking. It's something that definitely got my attention. Now obviously they're not saying, well we know that he's innocent and we're going to allow him to be executed, but there, there at least is one justice on record is saying that it isn't the job of the Supreme Court, that in fact it's the job of the legislature to determine whether or not people should be given multiple levels of, of appeal. So, uh, uh, unfortunately in this case, it's one of these civics lessons that you learn that uh, it's surprising at first, but then you realize that uh, you know, the court system is not necessarily the fairest in the world, and the court system isn't also the most logical in the world. And this is why you need to have a good advocate, this is why you need to have an attorney who's gonna work as hard as humanly possible, because the system, as much as people like to think this is the best country on earth and we've got the best system, I think everybody recognizes that the system has flaws. And there's no question, I think, that there was real doubt as to Troy Davis and whether or not he was innocent. And the way I view it is, you know, if there was a 5% chance or a 10% chance that he's innocent, is that a risk that we're willing to take? Is that a risk that our society should take? The, the idea that there's a very good possibility that we executed an innocent man. And is that something that, that we should do? And should the appellate process allow for a, a new hearing whenever there is substantially new evidence? And whether, whether or not there is you know, really compelling new evidence that cast doubt as to whether or not a person is guilty of a, of a homicide. So just something to think about. Appreciate it. Thanks so much.